come forth. Serenity. Clarity. Tranquility. Cleanse primal vision. Gather cosmic force. Revelation, oneness, she lasts evermore! Here you are, looking like a decent challenge. Jian Qing is a monk that works at the tea house and she uses the Tai Chi fighting style. So let's just go over her moveset. She has her basic four hit combo here that does multi hit and then it does a final hit at the end, right? And then she has a heavy attack, which you hold the mouse button. You can one tap it. <laughs> and then she has the plunge attack. This is also multi hit. You can use it to gather mine super quick, the ores. <laughs> and then she has her regular E skill, which is a counter. So you can hold it. And then everything hits and counters. And after a while, it does an attack. And you can also. Just press it and let go. That's the regular attack. Obviously, when it, you do get hit, the counter does more damage. Right? And then you notice down here on the bar uh, above her HP, there's like, there's like these two arrow things. So each of them is a stage. So if you hold your heavy attack now, if you do your heavy attack, it will uh, drain it. And then depending on how long uh, you charge it until the end, it will do multi-hits. And also, let me see if I find an enemy. Multi hits, and also each phase of the tick will do one big hit, and it gets harder and bigger. And then each time she does it, it gets a, she gets a shield. So, the last hit didn't even hit. <laughs> we just died. But. Yeah, so, so that's the big hit. And then actually, if you have this shield, it actually heals you uh, every few seconds. You notice I, I gain like a thousand HP. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm full. So every time you do an attack, you get a bunch of uh, chi. I feel like the best way to spam heavy attacks and get chi. And obviously, doing uh, your counter gives you a lot of chi. I do want to note that if you're attacking and you're not hitting anything, you don't get chi. But if you do the skill, you do it, you get chi. Uh, so, and yeah, also when you're doing heavy attack, if you don't finish charging, you lose all your chi. But you do a final hit at the end, which I think is called the... Uh, what is it called here? It should be called the pushing punch, so that it finishes off. Obviously, you can dash cancel that, and then it might not even happen. Now I want to show you the ult. So the ult pretty much works. She's super cool. She's, it pretty much sucks everyone in and it does hit multiple times and then there's a big explosion at the end. They are, she also has an intro skill here that she pulls enemy in just a little bit and then just does uh, like four, four, four hits. Not too bad. And then her outro skill actually buffs the uh, liberation damage, so they're ult by 38%, which is pretty good or until they switch off. So she's pretty good at support wise too. But in this video, we're going over the DPS Jian Qing. Um, I personally want to do that, uh, do DPS, and I'll try to make a guide on it. And most likely, this I'm building it more like a solo character, not like a team based character. Okay, let's look at weapons. So there's a few options um, I would think to go for. Obviously, the five star Abyss Surges is the best. I don't have that. But currently, I'm using this Gauntlet 21D. You can get the, you can buy it from the blacksmith, or you can get it from the four-star selector using the ores in my other video. You can look at that. So personally, I like this one more because it actually does more counter damage, which is for like the parry. And then every time you dash or dodge, you get attack eight uh, percent. And then when she does a counter, she heals. So that's one option. A second option is using this one, Marcado. Which is when you use your skill, your you get Sertanto energy. So that's that's the other one. They're both energy regen. I just like this more 
uh, Gauntlet to the 21D more because it also had higher base attack. A lot of extra damage, so I went for all damage. There's also that Battle Pass one that you can use. It has crit rate, so that's obviously good, right? Especially going to DPS. And when you use the Redstone skill, it will increase your liberation damage, aka that Vortex. So I do more than I could do more than six six thousand. Who knows? Right? I haven't tested it out myself because I don't have this weapon. But yeah, the best in slot would be the five star one, which gives you energy regen. Uh, it has higher base attack, and it also gives you attack percentage, not crit, unfortunately. And every time you do a basic attack, it increases your skill attack. And every time you do skill attack, you increase your base attack. Okay. And I believe the mo the way to that I play her is I like to spam her Resonant skill attack as much as possible, and then her basic attack. And then that leads into the heavy attack. And then once in a while, we get an ult, right? And that ult does a lot. Uh, I don't depend on it too much, but it's a nice addition. Because the bosses don't always just stand around, you know, just letting you gather your chi and stuff, right? So that's the one thing, the downside of playing her is that uh, when you're doing the charge thing, it you, you get, what, 50% damage reduction when you do heavy attack. Uh, and you get less chance to interrupt it doesn't mean it stops you from being interrupted and obviously also doesn't stop you from taking damage <laughs> So that's unfortunate. So sometimes you might just like put up one shield and that's it and That's all you can do. So you, you can just spam more often and then you have more constellations um, You can do counter more and you get your chi faster. This is the C0 because I only have C0. Okay, my echoes aren't the best uh, they aren't I have like the one star not even maxed out. I max these but it's not like oh This one's pretty good. Not gonna lie <laughs> This one is meh This one could be better. It has crit rate anchor damage though. So it's pretty nice and liberation damage and uh, HP and defense is kind of meh to me. So What you want to go for is arrow damage first? So that's obviously number one or right? elemental damage and then secondary, you want crit rate because you don't have that many options for crit rate weapons. If you do have using a crit rate weapon, you can might go crit damage. That might be a better choice. So depending on how you want to, depending on what weapon you're using, you can kind of mix and match. All right. But you want to go for arrow damage for three costs. Three costs, that's how I have it. So that's extra 60% damage. And then I went for crit rate because I'm using energy regen weapon. Okay. And then for your one star left over, you want to go attack. This is going DPS, attack. She scales off attack, okay? Not defense, not HP, attack. She scales off attack. And then for substats, you want damage bonus, crit rate, crit damage. More like you want uh, heavy attack damage if you can. Liberation damage, not bad either. But you do want to go for crit rate and crit damage. Because then that just affects everything instead of just anything in particular. But having basic attack damage is not bad either. Attack percentage is probably... Oh, attack percentage is probably slightly better than attack. But her attack isn't as high as other... She's not really a DPS, right? She's more like a versatile in-between character. So... <laughs> I wouldn't say that uh, her attack is that high. Like compared to Ling Yang or Jian, right? So... In short term, you pretty much build her like Jian, right? Attack, attack, arrow damage, and then a four. This is the boss. I personally like this echo the most because they do a drop kick, right? You can do a drop kick, you can do a drop kick, and then if it hits something, it does another slam, and it does quite a bit of damage. And that that is a boss echo. Okay, that's the boss echo. You get that from fighting that boss, and then we have. These other ones, let's see, these other echoes here. This one's the carpet you probably see him running around. And then the cyan bird, you probably see him running around. Board, you can see it a lot of places. And this is also the monkey that can be found near that, uh, where this monkey is. Okay. Uh, this bird, well, you can pretty much track them by going to the data bank, right? And then looking up. Well, well, let's see. Look for this monkey. You can just track it, and it'll just, you can just detect, and then it'll show you where it is, right? It'll just point you. Out. Hopefully, you like uh, find this helpful. Let me know how you guys are building her. And more usually, people build her for support. <laughs>
But this is a DPS Jianqing, so uh, just pretty well. Enjoy the rest of the video. Can I stop it from resetting? Yes, I can. <laughs> All right, you're going down, boy. Oh, what? That's who? She lasts evermore. No soul, though. Give me your soul. Get over here, man. Get over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, boom. And then bam. 